All right, go ahead. Woo! Good job. A big slide. Now I want to see it. Hang on, let me get Porter. Okay. I want to see it. Ready? I'm watching Porter. Woo! Go, Eve, go! Go, Eve, go! Okay. Oh, bounce, 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 bounce. Another day, another bounce house day. They love this thing. And there's Avery watching them in their little sit me up. <laughs> I figured we started summer with the bounce house. We can end summer with the bounce house. Good afternoon, you guys. It just turned afternoon. We are in the final week of summer. It's not even a whole week. Grayson goes back to school on Thursday. Today is Tuesday. So we are trying to make the most of our last week of summer. We went to Mommy Land yesterday. We met up with my sister and her daughter, my niece, Ivy. So I took a couple clips, so I'll input that there. It was the first time taking the two girls to Mommy Land. We've taken my boys several times before. They love Mommy Land. It's basically like a huge indoor play place for kids. It's like for ages eight and under. So they had a baby section where the babies mostly played, but then they had a ball pit and slides and they had um, trampolines to jump on and fake food in a grocery store and uh, like merry-go-round and they just had tons of things for kids to play in so my kids loved it the babies loved the play area Avery just did like her leapfrog all around the indoor place it was like padded so she loved it we had a super fun time so that was on our summer bucket list I think that's the last summer bucket list thing we're gonna get to so there were a couple things that we did not get to such as the beach there's just no good beach in Ohio so unfortunately we did not get to that um, but we did most of the things on our summer bucket list so pretty happy about that so we did that yesterday I also met up with my sister and sister-in-law we've been working on this bachelorette party for my sister Kelly we're all going to Tampa in less than a month to go celebrate her so as the matrons of honor Allison and I my sister and I have been creating the whole itinerary for the bachelorette party and then my sister-in-law Ellie was so nice to offer her help as well so we've been meeting this is our second meeting but then we've been texting a ton too trying to get reservations the airbnb um activities to do just like all the things so it's it's taken a lot i'm so glad i don't have to do this by myself it's gonna be a really fun time the boys already went on their bachelor party that was when i was stuck all weekend with the kids anthony had a good time so now it's the girls turn to go and anthony has to stay home with the kids so that's the first weekend of september so not for a little bit so i did that yesterday 
Today we had Avery's last day of PT. So we've been getting free physical therapy services through our county because Avery qualified because she was a little bit delayed in her gross motor skills. So every other week we've been having a physical therapist come to the house for an hour and work with Avery. It's done wonders. Avery's now crawling and moving and she's so much stronger and a lot more stable. So that's been good. Once she turned one, she qualified for their school once she turned one they offer a school that Avery can go to where they have not just physical therapists but occupational therapists all the different like speech therapists to help her with any other delays and get her caught up so we applied to the school way back like months and months ago and found out a couple weeks ago that she got in I can't remember if I updated you guys about that Avery did get into the school it starts at the end of September so because she's going to the school now we don't need need in-home therapy so we have stopped that today was the last session kind of sad to end it because we've been seeing this specific physical therapist since February so it's been a long time but now we're going to do the school she'll go twice a week just for a few hours in the morning and they're going to work with her and get her caught up so excited it's free through the county so very thankful for those services so yeah um, the physical therapist came over today um, we just, she just kind of told me different things to work with Avery. We're still working on her climbing stairs and getting stronger with that and then cruising along furniture and pulling up on furniture. So that's what we're working on right now. And yeah, so that ended. And now the rest of the day, we're just kind of home. Avery's going to take a nap soon. She's getting kind of grumpy. So I put up the bounce house for the boys so they could play and get their energy out, their wiggles out. And um, that's kind of it for today. And then tomorrow we have Meet the Teacher at Grayson School. It's just for about an hour. We're gonna go bring our school supplies, find the classroom, meet the teacher. I'm sure they'll have like some scavenger hunt and they're doing popsicles on the playground. So Grayson's gonna absolutely love it. He is so excited for school to start. So very excited for that. It works perfect because it's during nap time. So Avery will be taking a nap and then Porter is just going to do some quiet time while Anthony's working from home. And then the next day on Thursday is Grayson's first day of school and he goes to first grade. It's so crazy. So yeah, just winding down summer. The Olympics ended, so nothing really to watch on TV anymore. And yeah, back to school season is here. Grayson is so, so excited. We found out his teacher. We found out his bus number and the time that he gets picked up and dropped off. And everything is kind of slowly coming together. So super excited to meet Grayson's teacher and hear what he's going to learn about in first grade. He's got school this week, like I said. And then like two weeks later, we do like a parent info night where all the parents come sit in the classroom and kind of learn about what the kids are going to be doing for the whole year, kind of like a game plan. I really liked going last year to the kindergarten one because I don't know if your kids are like mine, but my kids never tell me what they do in school. And now that Grayson's going to go a full day in school, there's no way he's going to tell me everything that's going on. So I'm really excited to hear with my own ears what he's going to be doing this year. So super excited about that. Um, life is just a busy, busy here as always. Sad that summer's ending, but kind of looking forward to fall. Fall is my favorite season. Excited for football to be back and sweatshirt weather and my kids are so excited for Halloween. They were wearing their Mario and Luigi costumes from last Halloween today. I got to figure out what I'm going to put them in this Halloween. I know I got time, but I really got to think about it. I really want to do coordinating outfits for as long as I can. Like the kids kind of still don't have an opinion. So last year, as if you can remember, it was Mario and Luigi and then Avery was Princess Peach. So if you have any good ideas for three kids, two boys and a girl, please write them in the comments down below because I really don't know what I'm going to do this year. It's got to be something cute. So yeah, that's on my list of things to figure out. And I need to like book a photographer because I usually do family pictures in the fall and so many things coming up. So lots of stuff going on. Of course, like this bachelorette party trip and school and Porter just got a postcard in the mail from his preschool teacher saying he has an open house at the end of this month. So lots of things going on. It's a busy time, but I'll pull out the camera throughout the day. Hopefully we do some fun things. We try to go to like the library once a week and the parks if it's not too hot. So 
Maybe we'll do one of those after nap time today. I'm not sure. Easy. Yay. Made it to the park. <gasps> There's Porter. Hi. And Grayson's in the playground.